So pharyngocytomas are tumors of uh, the adrenal gland. Um, the, uh, they are not terribly common, but it is something that I'm very, very interested in because uh, during my uh, work at the Royal Free Hospital, I am one of the lead endocrinologists at uh, something called the European Neonocrine Tumor Center of Excellence at the Royal Free Hospital, and pheochrocytomas are a particular special interest of mine in that center. So these tumors, uh, they appear uh, in, they can appear in any uh, person or patient. Um, however, that we know that in certain uh, patients and families that uh, these can run in the, in the family. So what can happen is that they inherit a kind of gene which, or uh, a variant in the gene, which makes them more vulnerable to developing pheochrocytomas. And again, this is something that I'm very interested in looking into with my patients. Um, so, as I said, uh, this is a kind of tumor or lump in the adrenal gland. What they do is that they make uh, stress hormones such as adrenaline and noradrenaline. And uh, these uh, can cause all sorts of symptoms, including headaches, sweating, and in particular, high blood pressure as well. So uh, when patients present with these symptoms, uh, one of the things that we look for as doctors is uh, for uh, the secretion of this adrenaline and noradrenaline in the blood or in the urine so that we can diagnose a pheochromocytoma. So um, the symptoms of a pheochromocytoma uh, quite commonly are things like headache, sweating, a feeling of anxiety, and high blood pressure, which uh, can be uh, quite high at times. So when people turn up with this uh, set of symptoms together, then what we do is that we either ask you to collect urine in a pot for 24 hours, or to take a special blood test, which can be analyzed for the presence of uh, adrenaline, noradrenaline, or the chemicals that, are that uh, adrenaline and noradrenaline are processed into. Once we have some idea that this might be the problem, then we often do scans, uh, for example, uh, CT scans in order to look at the adrenal glands, and quite often we also do special nuclear medicine scans where we inject a small injection or something that's mildly radioactive to stick to the tumor to light it up on the scanner. Yes, uh, pheochromocytomas can be cured. Very often what we recommend is surgery to take it out. Uh, in most cases, pheochromocytomas are benign, which is to say that once you've had a surgery to take it out, they don't come back. Uh, in some cases, they can be malignant, and this can be treated with additional kinds of treatments, such as chemotherapy or specialized uh, radionuclide therapy.